If you are looking for a digital microscope, this video is for you. In this video, we will review the new Andon Star AD208 digital microscope with an amazing 8.5 inches screen. Does it worth it? Let's find out. Hey there, I'm Hugo Ferreira from Tech Corner TV, and today we are going to review the new Anon Star AD208 digital microscope. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time we have new videos. And now, it's review time. In a previous video of unboxing and first impressions, we made an unbox of the Andon Star AD208 microscope, and we will take the opportunity to review those images while I make this introduction to the reason for having acquired this equipment. One of the goals we have here at Tech Corner TV is to expand our knowledge and try new technologies and development methods. And within this spirit, we wish to start creating projects with SMD components that are smaller and allow better fitting in the PCBs. As some of you will know, when we pass the 40, we start to need glasses as a companion, or even for those who are younger and already have to need to use them, the glasses make it difficult to use a magnifying glass or even those magnifying lens that fix on the head. That even above the glasses, they become uncomf uncomfortable and cause you to lose focus easily. And this is how a digital microscope with a wide screen like this can be essential tool in an electronic lab. So we have here the Anon Star AD208. This digital microscope has some interesting features. Um, let's start for going to the setup menu. Uh, we have several options, like uh, resolution. Uh, this is the resolution that we can use for saving the, the recordings on the SD card. Uh, we have also the loop recording, the exposure. We can uh, set up the exposure, uh, exposure also. Uh, if we record the audio or not, uh, if we put the date, date stamp in the recordings. And we have also to, to fix the date and time. We can choose the language. Uh, we have several language available. I believe that's Chinese and Japanese, French, Deutsch, uh, Portuguese, Spanish, and so on. Um, we have also the frequency of the monitor, of the screen, an option to format the SD cards, Vector defaults and the version of the microscope. On, on screen operation, you can see here on the top, we have the movie icon. It, that's for recording uh, what we are seeing. On menu, we can change to photo. We have here a camera. And finally, we have here the pictures that we can take. This is my finger. Yeah. And again, we go to menu. We can have a stamp, a date stamp here that passes to the recordings or to the photos. We have also a mic here and a card icon and right now it's saying it has no battery well with the battery i have i had a few problems it uses a a standard 18 650 battery uh 2200 milliamps but uh, i have a few problems charging it I don't know if it's the battery, if it is the Anon Star. It was charging 
more than two days and it, it will it will not charge so i will charge this battery on my battery charger and if it's not working i'm also waiting for batteries that i ordered to to replace this one and see if the problem is the battery if it is the, the anon star well, what is the problem um right now it's connected directly to the to a power supply and for working this unit has a, a a remote well with a cable to control you can turn it off turn it off turn it on uh it it is used also to control the the lights the led lights for example right now it's dimmer let's power it up yeah it's at the maximum the the microscope also has a light here that can be controlled with this circle yeah and we can see the light going down and going up we have several buttons here this is the power button also the modes or menu button up down this is for saving okay and picture uh, button i believe this can be controlled also by a remote it has here uh, infrared sensor on the back we have only the the sd card uh, slot and the usb uh, slot for 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 connecting the power um let's try to see what is the, the the resolution of this and if it can uh give a, a good image or not he has eight and a half inches the screen uh with a maximum uh 1280 pixels by 70 720 um uh, pixels uh it's basically uh not full of idea it's uh it's seven seven hundred p the resolution uh yeah but it, it gives a very good image the screen is very large as you can see it records uh, full of idea for for the sd card um so it's good enough for 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 that kind of usage you can see here uh integrated chip inside the the packing let's try to focus a bit more the focus it's done here it's manual it's but even so it's very easy to focus as you can see we can read perfectly ft 232 rl it's a usb controller some projects that that i have we can direct the light uh, the light affects a lot the way we see the the image at first i was uh, about to buy without the light but it's good that i choose a version with the led lights because it helps a lot uh, i didn't have that idea initially but the, the the leds really help here watching we have a digital zoom that we can increase the image as you can see well but sometimes well at this at least because it has the plastic cover over the the package uh it will read better if we don't use the maxim uh zone let's try another circuit i have here i believe it's a philips uh, fm uh integrated integrate let's try to see yeah this is the resolution the digital maximum resolution we can perfectly see the, the letters on the integrate i see yeah the resistors and everything else on the plate so you have a notion of the size of this uh, integrated port 
this is a small board as you can see a very small board i have here another one and again we can see everything on the ships it should just we can see everything so the resolution it's good we can even go further with this if we get the the lens near integrate it, it will be hard to 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 mount something on a board but because of the space but if we go near we can check yeah we have a much better resolution you can see all the de all the details uh, on the board and uh, the components as you can see it's pretty neat let me for example i have here some more ic's 74f to 258a i believe this is a multiplexer with three outputs uh, if i remember correctly i have here uh, a component this one i don't know what it is but we can take a look it's a small processor well we have to and zoom a bit so we can have a look on this one perfectly very focused very clear the image very nice let's see what we have here also i don't know what it is but let's check it out this came with a, a kit for smd soldering training uh serial 58b serial 58b i don't know right now but i believe i don't know i don't want to guess i can be wrong so but anyway we can see perfectly what's inside the the package i have here a board for smd training let's put this on i have to unzoom a bit because too near okay let's focus let's see yeah pretty easy pretty quick to focus and we will put the ic over here integrated components and as you can see we can see it is possible to see everything that we are doing. We just have to put the solder solder placed and the flux, a little bit of it, and it will be okay. Yeah. First we have to put this on the right side. Yeah, totally uh, centered in the board, and it's it's able to it's in position to be fixed here uh let's try to see a smaller component yeah i have these these ones they are quite small let me get one that it's unpacked okay let's see with the max resolution what details can we get on this a bit of digital zoom and now let uh, focus okay this is a pretty small component uh, i believe this is a resistor or something like that it's too small for me to understand right now let me put it again here yeah I will grab it and put it on my uh, finger so you guys can see the size of this yeah pretty small 
and we can clearly clearly see what is going on here. So yeah, I think this is a very good to, good tool. Oh, I finished. A very good tool for our lab. It will help a lot, as you can see. And just to put it here. Okay, so in terms of specifications, uh, as I told you before, this is a, a two mega. Well, I didn't told you before, but this is a two megapixels uh, HD sensor. The magnification goes for five times to two hundred and sixty times. Uh, for photo res resolution, we can have uh, a maximum. 12 megabits uh, with a resolution of 4032 uh, wide and 3024 pixels uh, height. Uh, that's very good for photos. And a frame rate of 30 frames per second um, full HD. So it's it's neat. It's for pretty neat for 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 equipment. Uh, our opinion it's very it's a very good uh, piece of, uh, of hardware to be on our lab and well we don't have any more to to talk about it we are happy with it yeah we recommend the the screen it's pretty good the zoom also let's just use the digital zoom let's see but even only with digital zoom, we have a clear image. We can see everything we are doing. Um, we have a lot of space. We can put this a bit apart. The LEDs hit a little, but it's it's not hard. Well, it's not problematic. Are a little hot, but not too much. We have space to work with the soldering iron if we need to. To, to do the operations. We have to, these small uh, clips to, to hold the boards while we are working on it. So yeah, we, we have a very nice idea, opinion of this, this board recommended. We only have this problem with the battery. It's not possible yet to, to charge it using the microscope. As I told you, I will try to charge it on our charger and see how it goes. Because with the battery, you will not need the, the cables to connect to the power source. And that's, it's pretty neat because you have more independence to, to move the microscope around the, the workbench. Well, for today, that's it. I hope you like this review. Uh, if you like it, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you didn't do it before and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we have new videos. Thank you for watching and your support is appreciated. Thank you.